Lucy lived with the Baxter family in Vermont. Mom Nicole was very busy and seemed to run everything. Dad Bill would sneak Lola and Lucy yummy things when Nicole wasn't looking. In the afternoons, Lola helped Janie with homework. Lucy made sure Dale practiced basketball. Lucy and Lola loved their family very much. They could not imagine wanting to be any place else. That is, until one fateful day at the dog park. That day at the dog park, Barney told the gang something astonishing. I'm an Australian shepherd, and I herd sheep. I've won many blue ribbons. My owner says a dog that doesn't have a job is no dog at all. Lola and Lucy were embarrassed. No one had told them a dog was supposed to have a job. They must have been made for one special job. But what? Not long after, Dad Bill was looking at dogs on the computer. Lucy put her paws on the desk, panting eagerly. What is it, Lucy girl? Dad Bill asked. It's not time for our walk. Just then, the phone rang and Dad Bill left the room. Lola raised one eye from her nap in the corner. Come and look, Lucy whispered. She sounded so excited, Lola trotted over. Lola jumped up and put her paws on the desk. One paw hit a round thing. There was a click and a new picture appeared. The computer said, Bulldogs were bred to hold bulls by the nose while the farmer worked with them. I've never seen a bull. Have you, Lucy? Lola asked. No, Lucy said, but that dog's picture looks awfully familiar. Lucy and Lola ran to the bedroom mirror. Look, Lucy said, my jaw sticks out. That's so I can grab a bull's nose. Lola let out an excited bark. My chest is deep and strong. That's so I can hold on fast. Lucy got a determined look in her eye. A dog without a job is no dog at all, she said. Lola, we have to find a bull. A few days later, Lola brought Lucy a newspaper. The paper showed a picture of a bull with the shapes N-E-W-Y-O-R-K. There's a sign with those shapes down the street, Lucy said. If we follow that road, we will surely find this bull. First, Lola and Lucy... A few days later, Lola brought Lucy a newspaper. The paper showed a picture of a bull with the shapes N-E-W-Y-O-R-K. There's a sign with those shapes down the street, Lucy said. If we follow that road, we will surely find this bull. Will we be back in time for dinner? Lola asked. Dinner seemed very far away. Of course, Lucy said. How far can it be? First, Lola and Lucy had to get out of the Baxter's yard. Lola tried going under the fence, but it was too low. Lucy stuck her head through a hole in the gate, but the rest of her wouldn't fit. How do we get out of here? Lola asked. That squirrel can help us. Lucy said. She put a nut on the latch. The squirrel jumped for it and the gate opened. Lola and Lucy trotted along a busy highway. I don't like walking on this road, Lola said. The cars go too fast. Lucy saw a pickup truck ahead. Let's hop in that truck, Lola, Lucy said. It must be going to N-E-W-Y-O-R-K, too. Lola and Lucy jumped in the back. Soon, the truck pulled onto the highway, and off they went. Lola and Lucy fell asleep. When the truck stopped, Lola and Lucy were in a huge city. I don't see the bull, Lola said. We'll find it, said Lucy. They walked and walked. Finally, they saw the bull. Lola put her chest to the ground and barked at it madly. Lucy grabbed its nose. Her teeth hit metal. This isn't real, Lucy cried. We came all this way for nothing. Lola 
and Lucy roamed the streets of New York City. Lucy wasn't sure what to do next or how to get home. Then they saw a truck parked outside a red and white shop. On the side was a picture of two bulls. Quick, let's hide in the back, Lucy said. Maybe the truck will take us to the bulls. How far can it be? The milk truck stopped at a farm. Lola and Lucy flew past the driver. They found a herd of large animals eating grass. Hello, bull, Lola barked. We left home to find them. It's our job to hold bulls by their noses. So get ready. We are cows, Bessie said calmly. Our job is to give milk, and no one needs to hold us by the nose to get us to do it. Oh, beg your pardon, said Lucy. Can you tell us where to find the bulls? The farm used to have bulls said Bessie. But now a bull visits twice a year, and you just missed him. The little bulldogs looked very discouraged. There are more farms up ahead, Bessie said. Keep going, and you'll catch up with the bull. Goodbye, little bulldog. <laughs> Lola and Lucy used their sense of smell to chase the bull trail. But each time they came to a farm, the bull had just left. Lucy was so eager that she ran and ran and ran. The cows let Lola and Lucy sleep in their straw and drink their white milk. Lola did her best to keep up. But when they got all the way to Iowa and missed the bull again, Lola had had enough. I can't do this anymore, Lola cried. I miss Mom Nicole and Dad Bill. I miss Janie and Dale. Please, can we go home? Lucy felt like someone had dashed cold water on her and woken her up. They had come a long way, and she was very tired. Maybe you're right, Lola. Maybe we'll never find our purpose. We tried awfully hard. That has to count for something. to the highway. They hadn't gone far when they saw a bus. On its side were the shapes S-I-T-T-I-N-G-B-U-L-L. -L. Lucy said, S-I-T is what the Baxters say when they want us to sit down. If the bull sits, it will be easy to find. The bus had an opening filled with suitcases. Lola and Lucy squeezed in. Soon they were on their way. When they got off the bus, the air was dusty and hot. Where are we? Lola asked. It is surely not Vermont, said Lucy. She marched up to a corral filled with painted ponies. Can you tell us where to find the bull that sits? Lucy asked. She thought she sounded very intelligent, but the ponies only laughed. Lucy barked at them. She was very annoyed. Why are you looking for a bull that sits, little dogs? A pony named Midnight asked. Lucy explained about their job. Midnight nodded. Every creature the Great Spirit made has a purpose, but Sitting Bull lived long ago. There is no bull here. Lola whimpered. Lucy felt terrible. Midnight huffed softly. Share our corn tonight. I think I know just the dog to help you. Next morning, they met a dog named Trigger. My master goes to rodeos, he said. You'll find lots of bulls there for sure. They hopped into his owner's pickup truck. At the rodeo, Lola jumped out eagerly. Oh boy, which way to the bull? Trigger led them to a big pen. There's a bull in here, he said. Lola and Lucy wiggled through the bars. This was it! was huge. Get out of my pen, he yelled. Lola got away, but the bull charged Lucy and sent her flying over the gate. Lola and Trigger ran up to Lucy. Her chin quivered. I'm not hurt, she said. But we failed, Lola. We couldn't face the bull. This 
this was your first time? Trigger asked. Then you thought of something easy first, like a cap or an old ball. You can do it. Lola and Lucy said goodbye to Trigger. As they left the arena, Lucy sniffed the air. Mmm, what's that delicious smell? They ran to a shack and peered in the window. A man was sleeping next to a plate of pancakes. Lola's stomach growled. Lola climbed through the window and grabbed a pancake. Lucy followed, and the two of them ate the pancakes lickety-split. Lucy was licking her paws when a song came on the TV. The song was about California cheese and happy California cows. Maybe the bulls are happy too, Lucy said. Not mean like the rodeo bull. She tried hard to remember the shapes. C-A-L-I. They roamed the parking lot until they found a car with those shapes on the back. They climbed inside and went to sleep. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Vermont... A family visited Two Bulls Farm. The parents talked to the farmer. Bessie and the other cows watched them curiously. The wind grabbed a paper from the little girl and blew it over to the cows. It's the two little bulldogs, Bessie said. Those dogs left here weeks ago, said Adelaide. Perhaps, with all us cows, we can find those little dogs somewhere. Yes! Lola and Lucy were in California. They saw a sign, R-O-D-E-O. Those shapes were at the rodeo, Lucy said. The street named R-O-D-E-O -E didn't have bulls, but it did have a cafe. A nice couple gave them bites of delicious food. A mean woman set her dogs after them. Lola and Lucy ran. They dove inside a master dairy truck, escaping just in time. cows walked towards them with welcoming smiles. Lola and Lucy? The leader was passed a piece of paper. Lola gasped. Lucy, our family misses us as much as we miss them. We'll never find our way home, Lucy said. We can get you home, the cow said. But first, someone wants to meet you. Cows nudged Lola and Lucy inside a gate. They looked around and saw a bull. Lola barked madly. Lucy backed away. Old Jack smiled. You're the two dogs who say their job is to hold bulls by the nose. Well, go on. I'm just laying here. They both tried it. His nose was cold, wet, and not very exciting. I guess it isn't the same if the bull lets you, Lucy said. Old Jack sighed. Your gift has nothing to do with bull's noses. A dog's job is this, to bring comfort and joy to the human heart. Lucy remembered how she longed to make Janie feel better when she was sad. She knew her love could help. And Lola remembered helping Bill with chores, wanting so much to lighten his load and see him smile. But that's what we mean, Lucy said. It's what we most like to do, said Lola. Old Jack just smiled. Janie was in the front yard when a master dairy truck pulled into the driveway. The door opened, and Lola and Lucy dove out. They ran into Janie's arms. Soon, Nicole, Bill, and Dale were there, too. They all hugged the dogs and laughed with joy. Lola and Lucy were home. They knew that their dog was right here, and they were happy to do it for the rest of their days.